surreal looking rock formations, moss covered forests and beautiful stream valleys. We, Dana Led from Hikeaholics, are hiking this beautiful 112 km long trail in Luxembourg that consists of three routes. We are hiking this trail in six days and camping along the way. This is the Moeletal Trail. Good, Good morning! morning. <laughs> we, right now we are in Muletal on the Moeletal Trail. We have a slight change of plans because of the weather conditions, right? Yeah, yesterday we finished route one of the Muletal Trail. Which you already know, the Muletal Trail consists of three routes. And the original plan was to do route two today. But due to the weather, the weather is still really, really bad. And we heard from all the people that the conditions on route two are very muddy and it takes a really long time. We decided to do route three instead, which starts in Mullertal. So right now we are in Mullertal and we want to hike to La Rochette today, but we saw some <laughs> trail signs and they were all marked in red like <laughs> tape so <laughs> i don't know what's going yeah, on but we will see <laughs> there were all kind of road closures so the plan for today is just see how far <laughs> we can get and if we cannot go to la rochette the public transport here is really good and it is free so no matter what way we will get there and the route to la rochette is 18 kilometers and it should take us about six hours to get there and over there is a quite a bigger town, so that's where our campsite is as well. kilometers to go to La Rochette and maybe as you can see the weather cleared up a little bit so we're hiking in the sun and there are blue skies so hopefully no more rain for today
in a cabin at the moment. We have been rained on for the last three days and we decided to treat ourselves to this beautiful cabin. There's a electric heater over here so we can dry our stuff and as you can hear it's still pouring rain outside and when we asked at the reception uh, the, the cost for the campsite was almost the same as this cabin so the choice for us was really easy dry our stuff and get a good night's rest and that's what we're going to do now our original plan was to hike towards the camping and when we got there it was like a big climb to get up there it was a beautiful climb though but when we came there the camping was closed and it wasn't even closed due to the season but it was still under construction so there was no camping at all uh, from there we had to walk the same way down again and from there it was uh, like 45 minutes uh, hiking towards this place in the pouring rain so that's why we took this cabin as well and tomorrow we have to hike back the same 45 minutes right? yes and tomorrow we have to walk that 45 minutes back to the trail again so good choice The sun is finally shining, yes! We're really happy. We had a really good night's rest in this cabin and uh, we really took our time to dry all our gear and all the gear is dry, so that's very, very good. The plan for today is uh, we are near La Rochette now where there is a beautiful castle. From there, we have a four hour walk, which is 12 kilometers to Beaufort. There's another castle over there. From there, it's two more hours to Mullertal, where we started yesterday. And those two hours, we are walking just alongside a river where there are a lot of bridges and river crossings and rock formations. So I'm really curious about that. The camping even provided us with some nice fresh baked bread this morning. So we're really energized and ready to go. see from the trail signs we're off the Mulletal trail right now because this morning we started at the campsite which was already three kilometers off the Mulletal, well off La Rochette and that's already off the Mulletal. So we decided to create our own trail today which uh, follows a river and we have the same destination Beaufort uh, because the original Mulletal trail runs through uh, meadows and farmland and we already saw that the last three couple of days so we decided yeah Let's follow a river and go our own way.
just finished lunch in a beautiful town called Beaufort, which has an old castle over there as well. Alette had some eggs and I had some lentil soup, which was amazing and gave us a lot of energy. And now, as you can see, we're in a beautiful canyon alongside a river on the way to Mullertal, where we started our trail yesterday. And from here, it's two to three hours to get there. Right now we are in Mullertal, we finished route 3. So route 1 finished and route 3 is finished. Route 2 still to go, which we will save for tomorrow because the weather will be great, right? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the weather forecast is good, but people say, well, you never know in Luxembourg. So um, our original, well, our plan B was to camp in Mullertal. Right. But here. Here, but we heard that this campsite is also closed. So that's already the second campsite that is closed. So now the plan is to drive back to Echternach and find a camping there and start route two. Two, yeah, route, route two, two. <laughs> yeah, and in Echternach. In Echternach. And the good thing about this area is that the public transport is free and very easy. We have our car with us, which we actually parked here yesterday morning. So we, we are taking the car right now to Echternach to find a camp spot. And from there, route two starts. So, and today we had a different route than the Mulletal, partly. Uh, the first section was really pretty, right? From Auf Gengert camping towards the Mulletal trail, which led to Beaufort Castle. And that part was really fun. Um, then we had the trail from Beaufort Castle back to Mulletal. And the first section was really cool, I think the first hour, but then it was just walking back to Mulletal through a lot, a lot, a a lot of mud. A lot of mud. We are still having fun. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. Route 2 is supposed to be the most beautiful section of the whole Mulletal. So definitely stay tuned. 